uh, Kirchhoff's laws. This video is only an introduction of Kirchhoff's laws. Uh, what we have to keep in mind is that the knowledge of Kirchhoff's laws is an essential tool in circuit analysis, especially circuits with op amps. Those laws are um, changing the color uh, Kirchhoff's current law KCL or Kirchhoff's voltage law KVL. Before learning uh, how to use uh, KCL or KVL, we need first to understand the concept of some terms such as node and mesh. What is a node, also called a junction? Uh, in circuit analysis, we are going to consider a node or junction any point in the circuit where we have three or more elements connect together. So let's see if we can identify some nodes or uh, junctions in those circuits here. Uh, the first circuit on the left side of the screen, uh, we can see uh, this point right here. And this point connects element 1, element 2, and element 3. So we have three elements connect to this point. So therefore, we are going to consider it as a node. Uh, let's call N1. Uh, what about this point right here? We have element 1 element 2, anything else? No, only those two elements. Um, there's, if you look on uh, the internet, you are, you are going to see that some definitions say that a node is any point that connects two or more elements. Uh, however, when we have only two elements connected by a point to a point, uh, this is called a trivial node. And the circuit analysis is not useful uh, to analyze this node because there is no split of the current, so we just ignore a trivial node. This is the reason I'm using as the definition of a node uh, anything, any point in the circuit where we have three or more elements connect together. Uh, what about, uh, let me change the color here. What about this point here, this point, and this point? We can see that there are no elements between those two points or any element between those two. Um, if we look closely, we can see that in fact this point here, this point here, and this point here are all the same point. Uh, let me draw in a different way so you can see it. So here we have our circuit, only that I drew it in a different way, that now we can see that those three points, here, those points, this one, this and this, are the same point, and they are represented by this point down here. And uh, let's see if it is a node or a junction. We have, we can see that R3 is connected to it, R2 is connected to it, and V1 is connected to it. So we have three elements connect to this point and we can say that it is a node. Let's call N2. What about this circuit here? Uh, let's go, let's start by this point here. Uh, it connects R1, R2 and the current source. So we have three elements connect to this point. It is also a node. In this case, let's call N1 for this circuit. Uh, what about down here? We have this point, this point, and this point here. And again, there is no, just like this circuit here, there is no element between those two points or between those two points. So we can see that those points here are in fact only one point. I moved uh, things around here so we can focus only on the uh, circuit we are analyzing right now. And uh, as I said, those three points here, they are all the same, uh, just like the first uh, example we saw. And instead of drawing this way, I can draw in this way, so I can see that they are really all the same point. Therefore, uh, if I analyze this point here, I can see that I have one component here, one here, one here, so I have three elements connected to one point. This is then a node. 
my second note in this circuit. Another very important concept, it is the concept of mesh. What is a mesh? A mesh is a subset of a loop. So what is a loop? A loop is a closed circuit path. Uh, so let's analyze the circuit that we have right here and try to find the loops in the circuit. So what, first what we need to do is to choose a direction to trace our circuit path. It can be a uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, I usually use clockwise. Uh, what we need to do is first to pick a point inside the circuit, a starting point. I'm going to start at this point here. Then uh, you're, you pretend you are the, the current flowing through the circuit that you are going to follow a path until you close this circuit path to form a loop. And while you are doing that, you are going to pass through uh, circuit components, nodes, but you can do that just once. So let's start here and I'm going to walk it clockwise, so I'm going to do that. And then I decide to pass over R2, R3, and uh, get, get back to the, the point I started. I close this path. This is a closed circuit path, which I call a loop. Let's call it loop one. Changing the color here, let's pick another point. Let's pick this point here. And I can see that I can form another loop here. So going uh, clockwise again, and I'll go, go pass through the first voltage source, uh, R1. And I can see if I pass through R2, I close my loop. And I have a second closed uh, circuit path, that a second loop that I can call L2. So there are two main loops in this circuit, but uh, there is another loop. If you, let's pick another point here that we call external loop. Suppose I pick this point. You can pick any point in the circuit. The, you, what you have to keep in mind is you have to go back to your starting point so you can close the loop, close the circuit. And I, I'll do the same thing. I'll walk uh, clockwise and I pass through V1, through R1. Instead of doing the same path I did for L2, going down here to R2, I go straight. So I pass to R3 and I keep going, keep going, the circuit flowing, and I found my starting point. And I close a third circuit path, which I call L3, which is my external loop. So in this circuit, I have and each of those loops will give me uh, different equations according to Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. So now that we know how to identify loops in a circuit uh, and uh, we are, can go back to the concept of mesh. So mesh is a subset of a loop. What that means? It means that mesh it is a loop but it is a loop that does not enclose any branch. So if you, we look to our three meshes in the circuit, so we have a one which is, which is the red mesh, a uh, red loop here, and we can see there is no branch inside a one. So a one is also a mesh according to definition of mesh. What about L2? L2, is, it is L2 a mesh? Uh, let's see. Uh, the, this is the, the L2 is the green uh, loop here, and there's no branch inside L2, so it's also a mesh. What about L3? Uh, if we go around the blue loop here, we can see there is a branch inside L3. R2 is the branch inside L3, so L3 is not a mesh. So we can see that this circuit has three loops and two meshes, and the Understanding um, the concept of mesh and loop, how to identify one from another, uh, is very useful to an circuit analysis, especially when we do a uh, later on mesh analysis. Now that we talk about uh, all those concepts, I, I just wrote down those concepts right here on the right side of the screen. 
and uh, uh, just talking about a little bit of branches for those who don't remember or don't know what is a branch if we look to this piece of circuit here and suppose I have a current flowing this direction when the current comes here it's going to split between those uh, three paths here so path number one uh, path number two and path number three and uh, each path here each current path is called a branch and uh, it has in this case the first current path has one component r1 but the second cur current path has two components so if those components are in series they form the same branch so this is what we have to understand from uh, the term branch let's use the knowledge we we have now to analyze this circuit this is going to be our last example in this video and uh, we are going to look for nodes for mesh and uh, we keep in mind that every time you're going to uh, use Kirchhoff's laws you need to use uh, this knowledge to draw the equations you need to find nodes or you need to derive equations from nodes or from mesh and uh, to be able to solve uh, the circuit uh, so let's start by nodes uh, here's a, a, a hint uh, every time you have a op amp in the circuit always start by your nodes because they are much easier to find and that you can derive most of the equations with them so uh, here let's start by so we have a node here another node another node and I can see a fourth node in this circuit uh, follow me so here we have one two three four points they seem four different points but they're not they're all ground so that means they're all connected they and they make the fourth point the fourth node my circuit uh, now okay now suppose I found my nodes I derived my equations but there are still not enough to find the solution of, uh, that I'm looking for in this circuit so I, I need to move to the next thing that I have the next tool that I have which is loop mesh uh, let's look to my circuit again and try to find uh, any mesh in this circuit so I pick a starting point start here and remember I'm forming a closed circuit path so I'm gonna stop once I found another ground because I'm starting at ground point let's uh, so I walk my way up through the circuit pass R1 pass R2 and I can see now if I go through R3 I will find ground here is ground again so I closed my loop this loop can be uh, draw and in, in this way so we have v1 r1 r2 r3 and r3 and uh, the negative polarity of my voltage source is are they both are connect to ground so it is the same point I close my loop so I can also represent this green loop here in this way uh, also uh, I can find other loops other meshes in this circuit uh, let me um, change it here to another color uh, suppose I pick the same point and go walk through my circuit pass R2 but instead of going through R3 I go straight pass R4 R5 and I found ground again so I have another loop that can also be represented in this way so here instead of my L2 would we have instead of R3 would have R4 and uh, a fourth resistor here that would be R5 and that would be my second loop in this circuit so um, every time you have circuits those tools are very useful and uh, uh, with those tools we are can we can derive the equations we are going to need and using uh, KCL or KVL and analyze the circuit uh, so uh, in the next video I'm gonna solve uh, uh, numerical problems and uh, thanks for watching